no sé cuál me voy. El ferro, el porche, la cetre o el Rolls Roy. El bote parqueado en San Croix, viviendo la vida como si se va a acabar hoy. Yo, tranquilo en la mía es que estoy. El Richard Zafiro, Dios más los bendiga a mis hijos. No nacer otro como Floyd, la baby le yeah. Lo mío al día no le falta nada Las guaguas son negras, están todas blindadas Tu ronca allá afuera, aquí tú no eres nada Porque mi tiempo me vale dinero No te asustes si te enseño todos los ceros La vida me bendijo porque me mero Soy mi jefe, eso hago lo que yo quiero Aquí arriba no llega yeah. We got baseball from the home of the 2015 World Champs, Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Ought to be a good one here between the Seattle Mariners and the Kansas City Royals. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Jackson Kowar will be the starter for the Royals in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? It's not easy as a rookie to go out there and establish yourself, get the off-speed pitches over, and just try to be the same pitcher that you were in the minor leagues. And one of the big keys, not get ahead of yourself. So here is J.P. Crawford, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Off the afternoon for Seattle, the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. First pitch on its way. And the pitch misses for ball one as we are underway at Kauffman Stadium. First pitch, 111. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Lots of sunshine in the forecast, 83 degrees here at first pitch. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. A swing and a ball into the corner that hooks foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. He's around first, heading for two. And the Mariners have something going right away. It's a leadoff double. That's what you want your leadoff hitter to do every time. He wastes a lot of pitches, makes the pitcher work, then they cap it off. He drives one for a double. That might be one of the best at bats we'll see all game long. So here now is Ty France. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. The 1 0. And it's fouled away. Here it comes on one and one. Line toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Batting third, the second baseman, Abraham Toro. Next to stand in is Abraham Toro. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Set and the pitch. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Crawford, the runner at second with one away. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Oh. 
fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. And with strike three recorded there, he's notched his first career major league strikeout. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Here's the 1 0. With two outs and a base open, I don't think he's going to see anything to hit and miss at that. Not much reason for it. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Dozier moving back. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. This is why it's so important to give your cleanup hitter an opportunity to hit with runners in scoring position. He does just what he's supposed to do, lacing a double and driving in a run, just like you draw it up. Digging in now is Jared Kelnick. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. He set the 0-1. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Changeup laid off down around the shins. The 2 1 pitch. Two and two the count. Here's the two and two. We got three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. The payoff pitch. He loses him on ball four. Batting six, the left fielder, Jake. Next to dig in, Jake Fraley. And the Mariners trying to make this first inning even bigger here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And he fouls this one off. And a fastball called strike three and the side is retired. Mariners pick up a run on the RBI double. On to the bottom of the first at Kauffman Stadium. And the M's are off to an early 1-0 lead. Yeah. 
Logan Gilbert is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mariners. Dan Plezak, what do you got? It's not easy as a rookie to go out there and establish yourself, get the off-speed pitches over, and just try to be the same pitcher that you were in the minor leagues. And one of the big keys, not get ahead of yourself. With Merrifield next to hit, he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. Wind up and the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kelnick is there and he has it for the first down. Batting second. Not shortstop. Nicky Lopez. And stepping in, Nicky Lopez. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Trying to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Kelnick will wait on it. Two gone. And up steps Salvador Perez, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Hey, great job by the offense right here to put a number up on the board and allow this young gun to go out on the mound, relax a little bit, and establish that good fastball. That is fouled away, one ball and one strike. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going now. Two out, nobody on. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. It's quite possible the humidity has finally taken its toll on some of the fans. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. And now here is number five. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. First offering. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Number five goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. In now, Dylan Moore. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. Moore is a highly regarded defender, especially as corner infielders go. Some guys at first or third are there because they can hit, but he takes a lot of pride in his defense, and as a result, it's definitely not uncommon for him to make an impact on the game with his glove. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off the pitch down and away, ball two. Three and one now. Oh. 
And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Next, here is Cal Raleigh. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Throw over to the bag. Runner back safely. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Moore, base runner at first with one out. Swing and he pops him up. Benintendi coming up. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that brings up the shortstop J.P. Crawford. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in. A runner on first with two away. And there he goes towards second. In there. Now the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Fouled away. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here, take a deep breath after that high fastball. You got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. One left for Seattle. We played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. One and one. Hit back up the middle. Crawford fields it cleanly. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Batting fifth. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. So next to hit is Carlos Santana, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Pulled toward right center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. That is good. Ready now is Adalberto Mondesi trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. 
Here it comes. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Hey, be on the lookout right here. Usually, when a pitcher drops in a curveball for a strike looking, now he'll try and throw it in the dirt, get you to fish. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. KC down in order. They're down one nothing. New inning set to get underway. And next to bat will be the first baseman, the first Ty baseman. France. Ty France. Now here's the pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Called strike 0-2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Reined in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in, the switch hitter, Abraham Toro. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late, or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Here it comes on one and one. One out, nobody on. To two balls and two strikes now. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. and oh. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's keyholding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. To the left side, but it's well foul. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. 
lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The next 3 2. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Line towards center field. Taylor able to track it down for the third out. Mariners are down in order, but they're on top one to nothing. We're back now as the Royals line up readies for their third turn with the bats. And unfortunately for them, this club has had its issues on offense. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves. But we're obviously not getting the results we need. And one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. So he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. Thank you, Heidi. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout, this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Two and 0 pitch on the way. Fouled off. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. The M.O. of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. Now the three and two pitch. It is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk and can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hunter Dozier comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fastball or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. Smoke toward the hole. Throw gets him, two down. Striding forward now is the DH, Kyle Isbell. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. First offering. A high fastball is in there. A good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch that batters love to take a rip at, but that one froze him. And he falls behind 0-2. Two out, nobody on. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Now a curveball in there. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Royals go down one, two, three. It remains one nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. 
All right, Heidi, thank you. All set for the start of the inning, and the next to bat will be Jared Kelnick. The center fielder, number 10, Jared Kelnick. First pitch coming, here it is. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Kelnick stands in at an even six feet, throws left-handed, swings the bat the same way. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Swing and a flare down the line. Mondesi into shallow left, but he won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Up next to the Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. So now to the plate, Jake Fraley, high in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. 0 for 1, went down looking his first time up. Nothing in one count, here it comes. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw home. But this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. Now battle. Number five. Into the box, number five. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here it comes, 1 and 0. Inside with the breaking ball, 2 and 0. He's gone back to back with off speed stuff to start this AB, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge it. The 2 0. Down the right field line. In to score is the runner from first. Up next for Seattle. The third and base. time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Standing in now, Dylan Moore. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Still plenty to be desired in terms of batting average down in the 180s entering play. A dozen home runs and 41 RBIs. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Three runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Ball two. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Oh. 
Slow roller left side. And the throw to first is in time one gone. Next Cal it'll Raleigh. be Cal Raleigh flew out last Cal. time up. Yeah and I'm sure Whoa. he'd like a base hit of some sort right here Matty. But hey you know what another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order and we just saw three in a row. He's ready here's the 0 1. He's not having his best outing in this one and I think that curveball is part of the reason why he couldn't get on top of that one and that's not the first time that's happened. One out and a runner on third. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now I suppose. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Barehanded at his knees. Got him. Two runs already home, and now you can make it three. Good job right there of keeping it simple and putting the ball in play. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. 0 oh 2, the count to Crawford. Late swing on that curveball right there to run the count 0 oh 2. Don't think he recognized that one too well. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mariners four and the Royals nothing. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. The second baseman with Merrifield. Now here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Called strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-2. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Merrifield behind, a ball and two strikes. And that misses two and two. This is line to left. Fraley is there and he'll bring this one in. Good contact to start out getting. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. So the next to bat will be Nicky Lopez. He flew out in his last A.B. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time. And it's 2-0 and oh now. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Swing and a liner. 
That gets down, and the Royals' first hit of the game is going to be for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. When it left his bat, I thought it might for a foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well-hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Struck out in his first at-bat. The 1 0 home slider, and this is hit on the ground out to short. Crawford gloves it, and that's the second out. And that'll bring up the left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Runner in scoring position with two Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Lopez stands at second with two gone. Oh, well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. One and two. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. Here's the one and two delivery. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Royals leave one, so they trail here four to nothing. Scott Barlow, the right handed reliever standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And here comes the first baseman, Ty France. He's set. Here it comes. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Barlow features an absolute power slider, and he uses it a lot. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement on that pitch. Yeah, that, and this is one of the reasons why this guy is so hard to square up and get the barrel of bat on. He throws hard, and this slider that he throws, it, it takes a sharp break down, and it's really hard to get the barrel on it. You'll see lots of swings and misses, and he can throw this pitch three, four times in a row and still make hitters look bad. 2 0 count. Here it comes. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Now the 2 1 takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, 6 inches. Now the payoff pitch home. Breezes him. A strikeout looking. So his day is fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Kansas City starter. And he'll likely do his best to forget about today. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team and you went out there and laid an egg. Now here's the first offering. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. 
Hey guys, I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike right there. I do not think he expected to get ambushed on an OO get me over breaking ball, but that's exactly what happened. At the plate, Mitch Henniger. There goes the runner. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. As Perez fired a strike to get him that time. Check out the lead here. That's about as standard as it gets, and it didn't do him a lot of help on that steal attempt either. Could have been a different story if he took another couple feet off the bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. And low, it's a ball and a strike. One and one, here it comes. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. One two pitch and the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. None left for Seattle but they're in front four to nothing. Welcome back to Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. We send it down to Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, Royals manager Mike Matheny talked with me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production, and he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. For the Royals, the first baseman. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. Down and away, ball one. One and one. Two and one to the Royals' first baseman. Justice Sheffield is forced onto the mound now following the injury. Number 33. The 2 1. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And the Royals are going to get a man into scoring position right away on the leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever comes in the game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up, and that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets one off the wall, and now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. At the plate now, Adalberto Mondesi. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here comes the 0 1. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. A ball and two strikes. 
Well, that's a pitch right there you got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Ready on 1-2. and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is 2-2. Two and two. Stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another 2 2 offering. Again, he sends it out of play. Another try at 2 2. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Michael Taylor, as he'll take a look at ball one. The 1 0. Count even now at 1 and 1. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. The 2 1. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. That's the cat and mouse of the game right there. You find yourself count leverage, you think you're getting a heater, he throws an off speed pitch, and you're still able to execute. That fires me up right there. Hunter Dozier digging in now. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Now a throw over to first, and the runner back in standing. Pitch out. The throw on the pitch out pays off as he is nailed at second base. So they put the speedster in motion. They're trying to test this catcher who isn't known for his throwing abilities, but they had it sniffed out. A well executed pitch out leads to a good throw, and they nab him at second. Now the 2 0. Two balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Now a swing and a miss at the hard sinker, and they're back to even two and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Yeah, that's a fair ball, lined to the right side. Running hard, he's digging for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. So now to the plate, Kyle Isbell. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. 
Royals settled for just the one. No benefit, but now making a contribution, so that makes me a solution. I've been the problem, yeah. I'm part of the solution, So now into the box is Jared Kelnick. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Jared Kelnick. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And now a ball hit pretty well down that right field line. This has some carry to it, and it is gone. Home run. And good for him. Jared Kelnick has just launched his first major league home run. Hard to say how many more of these he'll hit in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got at least one. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over in his head. And now his phone's going to blow up. He'll be calling his parents, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. Into the box, Jake Fraley. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1 0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Base is empty here with nobody out. To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 10 for him on the year. And it's now a 6 to 1 ball game. Into the box now, number five, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's one for two in this one. The 1 0 home grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two-seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. The one-two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. 
That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Standing in now, Dylan Moore, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now the 1 0. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Cal Raleigh will be next. Still only one out in the inning. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first now thing you that, should do is stop digging. The well, the guy on the now bump one. obviously hasn't heard Ooh. that one. Next, it'll be Cal Raleigh. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. From the stretch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Moore, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Throw over to first, and he'll get back in safely. And it's fouled away. Now the 2 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And the payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. At the plate now, J.P. Crawford, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. goes for second a pitch out the throw and they'll nail him at second on a brilliant call to pitch out and the inning is over trying to move into scoring position with two away but not to be as we get another look we're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this the second baseman with Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. The 1-0 home. Sinks below the knees, taken for a ball. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. 
three oh, and oh now. Three and oh. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Well, that is definitely not the way to start it inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. And now in the box, Nicky Lopez. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Now the first pitch. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in the zone to induce a ground ball double play. Prior to the 0 1, here's a look to first. Just keeping him close. One run, four hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Hit in the air out to center field. Kelnick will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Digging in next, Salvador Perez. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 1-0 home. Fouled off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it. Here's the 1-1. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. He's set. Here's the three and two. Grounded to short. Crawford has it. There's one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Royals bats are quiet there. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Tyler Zuber is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that brings up the shortstop J.P. Crawford. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. A little bit off the outside. It's 1 and 2. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Up next for Seattle. One away the for Seattle baseman. now in inning number Ty. seven, and that'll bring in Ty France. From the stretch, here's the pitch.
Breaking ball called just a bit low. Boy, that's a great take right there. He might have been frozen by that pitch, but it missed by just enough to give him life in this A.B. Hard hit ball to second. Merrifield picks it up. In time to first, and there are two away. Next up is Abraham Toro. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Here's the one and one delivery. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. And this ball is popped up. Drifting back behind the mound. Lopez puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They lead it six to one. Now at the plate, Andrew Benintendi due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Here it comes. Line drive, base hit to right. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And no Showtrack bad. tells First us it went out at 112 oh, miles an hour. Those are the line hey, drives you can hear on. as they go by. So now Carlos Santana standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Throw over to the bag and he'll get back in standing. And it's quickly 0 and 2. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. To the plate now, Adalberto Mondesi. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Chopper to first, might only get one. To second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. In now, Michael Taylor, as he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ball game. Now a throw over back in standing. Mondesi is off of first with two away. That evens it up one and one. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. Here.
Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead, the inning is over. One left for Kansas City. They trail six to one. Ready to begin the eighth, and up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. He's set and the pitch as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. Ball two now. Two and one. Two balls, one strike, three down. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number 10. And now, Jared, Jared Kelnick. He went Kelnick. deep last time up. And the pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. Over the bullpen and into the stands. That's one long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Stepping in now, Jake Fraley. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And that one yanked just foul. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. Yeah, and then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. Into the box now, number five. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. One ball, One ball and two strikes to count. Here's the one and two delivery to two balls and two strikes now. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Two out, nobody on. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. But the Mariners add to their lead thanks to the solo home run. 
Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's the Mariners seven and the Royals one. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and standing in the outfielder Hunter Dozier. Offense just needs to find a way to get that pass the baton mentality starts one at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Maybe if they could get a few guys on the pillow someone can bop one and get them back in this. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Well, you look at his numbers, and there's no he's doubt he's faring he's much better good. against lefties, hitting better than 400 against them this season. And when you see swings like this, you can see why. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left handed hitter due up. Into the box, Kyle Isbell. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Dozier stands at second with no outs. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So the Royals batting order turns over and set to go with Merrifield. It was a walk in his last trip. First delivery to him. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. The 1-1 one, one is a high drive to left. Back toward the wall, but he's going to run out of room. It's gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Number 11 for him on the season as it's now a 7-3 game. Man, I love that A.B. right there. He rushed him in with the pitch before. You would think maybe he would leak a little bit, cheat to the inside half of the plate. Not the case. Kept his shoulder square, stayed on that pitch middle of the way, and was able to drive it out of the yard. At the plate, Nicky Lopez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one.
Now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The catcher, number 13. Up next, Salvador Perez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Doolittle's ready. First pitch on the way as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball laid off well below the knees. The 2 1 home. Hit hard down the line, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Here it comes. Two out, nobody on. Perez will lay off, and he'll reach. It's ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Andrew Benintendi, singled in his last at-bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Fastball just misses, that's ball one. Two out with the man at first. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. You see that so much, left on left matchup, that slider down in a way that you get a bad swing on it. There's so many few left-handed hitters that are willing to drive the ball up the middle the other way. Lifted the other way down the left field line, and foul. Line toward the alley in left center, and that'll get down for a base hit. Now back, the first baseman, Polo. Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0 home gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. Hey, you could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. Tough pitch to pull, and this guy's known for going deep pull side. Santana waiting on a 1-1. Seared down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. In the air, down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. The Royals come up with a pair, however, on this two-run home run. On to the ninth inning now from Kauffman Stadium. It's the Mariners seven and the Royals three. 
digging in now for the Mariners. Still been more. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch either. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. If he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. So now to the plate, Cal Raleigh, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. One ball, one strike to count. One out, nobody on. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the changeup to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. In now, J.P. Crawford. Now a pitch popped up. Should be enough room for Perez behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Mariners are down in order. They hang on to a 7-3 lead. New pitcher coming on now as we'll get a look at the side armor, Joe Smith. Alberto Mondesi will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Number 27. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Smith stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, Maddie, no kidding right there. I'll tell you what, the grind to get to the big leagues is so hard. Guys just want, they just want to spend a month, a day in the big leagues. So to put yourself here for 12 years screams to your ability to adjust and be a great teammate. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right hander is up to throw. Drilled on the ground is short. Crawford fields it cleanly, and there's one away. Next to hit is Michael Taylor. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Maddie. Just unlucky with the placement. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And there's ball one. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. He's set, and the two one pitch. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one.
Inside, he misses ball four. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. Dozier. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now here's the first offering. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer? The set and the one-one pitch. Taylor leads off first with one away. Two and two to Hunter Dozier. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. So here's the Royals DH, Kyle Isbell. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He can't make the play as it hops over the wall. And that's a break for the defense as it's going to keep the runner from first from scoring. Definitely a break right there for the defense with the ground rule double. If that ball stays in play, there's a pretty good chance the runner from first is able to score since he's moving on contact with two outs. Instead, he's forced to stay at third, so we'll see if they're able to strand him there. Paul Seawald takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. So the batting order turns over now and set to go with Merrifield. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. First pitch on the way. Second and third, two away. Barely able to make contact, down 0-2 now. KC down to their final strike in this one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. The Seattle Mariners jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Justice Sheffield earns the victory in relief in this one, his seventh of the year. Jackson Kowar was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. in the back, supposed to be the front. Say it's too loud, still turning up. Why you all in my face? I don't give a... She ride shotgun, try and give me some, oh, there you go again, rolling up, putting on the flow again, a nice day. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners, seven runs on nine hits, no errors, they left four men on base. For Kansas City, three runs on nine hits, no errors, they left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.